we want to have the arm elbow slightly bent. Feet are staggered about hip width apart. Close your eyes. He's going to close his eyes. We're going to push on this. Every time we push, he has to be able to keep it in position. You don't want to have any kind of certain pattern. You want it to be spontaneous on the timing and on the pressure and on the duration. Every time he feels a push on it, he should be breathing out. Okay, the way we can make this hard as we have to, he will stagger his legs so we got a narrow stance. One foot back. Knees bent. So we narrow the stance and then that makes it harder for balancing. Okay, so that's the first one. All right, second one. Go ahead and just stop there. Eyes are shut. First, we're doing the pushing, we'll go behind them. And what you're trying to do is turn him off to be able to turn him in this direction. But you just don't want to give a whole lot of pressure. Again, you don't want to have a pattern. You don't want to touch him in the same spot each time. You do not want him to be able to anticipate. And what he's doing is just cinching these muscles. Every time he feels me push, I pull on him, he breathes out. Notice I'm hitting them at different spots. Okay. Finger's gonna be outside the ball. Athlete, make sure they're in a good position right here. Their eyes are shut. Now the partner is gonna be tapping on the ball. You want to tap just enough to make them work, but not enough to make them face plant. All right, good job.